Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24A Question Number 5. Okay, so it says find the shaded area. Again, two figures are given to us and we have to find their area, right? So, you can see that uh, we cannot say that are they square or are they rectangle or are they triangle or something like this we cannot give a proper name to these shapes that we have got here right they are basically not uh, not that regular type right you can see we cannot use a formula for finding the area of these shapes all together right now but there is a thing through which we can use the formulas suppose if you can see they have given us something like this right and we have to find its area so we cannot take all of its dimensions and multiply that or something like that there is no formula for finding area for such type of figures right so what we will do is we will basically divide the figure into two right now you see that once i have drawn this line between it you can see we've got one rectangle here one rectangle here two rectangles so we can use the formula of area of rectangle okay and using them we can find the area so same thing we'll do here in the first one again you can see that uh, again this is uh, again we cannot use a formula for this so what we will do divide it okay so from the middle i'll just put a line with this so that it becomes a bit clear now you can use the formula can, uh, we can use it pretty clearly you can see this right see how so first i'll name this one i'll name this one two right so in one right first in the first part in the first rectangle the length is what you can see it's given five centimeters five centimeters and this is the what breadth 1.2 centimeters so 1.2 centimeters now the area becomes what 5 into 1.2 right so 0 1 6 right 6.0 square meters 6 square meters right this becomes a area and again you see this that in the second one now in second part right in second one you can see what is given to us you can see 2 is the breadth pretty clearly right so the breadth equals to 2 centimeters and right this is also centimeters and length equals to what is it 4 right so put it here 4 centimeters right most of the dimensions these two 1.5 1.5 they are not of our use so ignore them fine now length and breadth are given area becomes what 4 into 2 8 centimeter uh, 8 square centimeter right now this is not over here again two parts two different parts we have divided it into right but uh, but the figure is not asking the area of the two different parts the question is asking the area of the entire figure right so for that we will add the areas of both the rectangles that we have divided it into so total area becomes what total area will be 1 plus 2 right sorry it's really 1 plus area of the second one right so what do we get here see area of the first one is 6 6 right plus area of the second rectangle is 8 so this becomes 6 plus 8 14 square centimeter right and this becomes our area or answer for the first part now let's head on to the next one now next part is the second part right so what have we got here in the second one again this is the figure right now you see here that uh, um, there are many ways in which one figure can be divided but this one here we cannot divide it into two di different parts at once so uh, you can choose your way which one you feel appropriate right there are many ways but i'll go with this one right basically divide it into two parts this way again okay. so this one will be one part this one will be another one so we'll have one two and three right now see here that in the first 
triangle right sorry in the first figure in the first one right here length is what uh, see here this is given to us 5 right what do we know about this one 6 and here it is 4 right so 4 and 2 this much part is 2 so 6 minus 2 right that will be 4 okay so see here that first of all we've got the length here as 5 centimeters right this is given here pretty clearly next is finding the breadth this one or this one any one right see here that this is 6 okay and this much part is 4 and this much is 2 so if I subtract this part from this 4 I will get this one right the remaining part here then we can subtract subtract this from this right see how this is going to be 4 minus 2 so this much here is 2 right 2 between 4 and 2 there is a gap of 2 centimeters now subtract 2 from 6 that will be 4 right so the breadth will be 4 then the area becomes 4 5 into 4 that will be 20 right 20 square centimeters next one here is this figure second part right so see here again what are we given with see here the first one will be the length this is 2 this much is 2 so 2 plus this much part is also given here 6 plus 6 right now see that will be 8 centimeters all right next you see that the breadth this much right this much part this is 10 this is 5 and this is 3 so 5 and 3 can be taken out we will be left with this much part 5 and 3 means 8 so 10 minus 8 right that will be this one see here breadth becomes 10 minus 5 plus 3 okay that will be 10 minus 8 and that equals to 2 centimeters fine so this is the length this is the breadth now area becomes what 8 into 2 that is 16 square centimeters fine now you see here that if this is our area and you can see here for the second one and now the third one now for the last one third part this will be what length is 6 breadth is also no it's 3 right this is 6 length this is 3 breadth so 3 centimeters centimeters so area becomes what l into b that means 6 into 3 so that will be 18 centimeter square now add all of these together right so total area will be what see that will be 20 plus 16 plus 18 add all of these three right so 20 plus 16 plus 18 that 54 square centimeter all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one Till that day, good care of yourselves and bye-bye.